for the first time in program history. The Aztecs punched their ticket to the final four. Absolutely unbelievable. So let's bring in Jake Gariani, John Howard, who was out at the action. Fellas, when I'm telling you, I'm not sure any words can describe how crazy this moment must have been. Marcus, the words sound surreal coming out of your mouth. They sound surreal mm -hmm. coming out of my mouth yep. that the Aztecs are headed for a final four, John. An unbelievable basketball game, first of all. Unbelievable energy. You and I got to sit right there courtside, yep. lucky enough to do that. This whole game just built up nervousness. My, I mean, my stomach was in the my throat for a while there, <laughs> and now the Aztecs are heading to the final four. Yeah, it, it's amazing. It's the pinnacle of what Steve Fisher started 20 years ago. Yes. And for, for those of us that have been following this program for decades, back in the 80s, we'd watch the games down at the San Diego Sports Arena. It didn't even feel like a home away from home. <laughs> and to see Viejas built, and just everything has been built up, and to finally be reaching this peak is, uh, it's words escape me to, to describe what we're going through. Uh, we're going to get to some player sound um, and what Jake was talking about with all the excitement here started in the game against Alabama and then again today and one of the most emotional players Keyshaw Johnson. Here's a touch of what he had to say after the game. Keyshaw, can we get you real quick? Yeah, John, of course, John. Come on, man. All right, tell me, you're glad you're going to the Final Four. How does it feel? Man, this is a fairy tale. All glory go to God, man. As a team, we stay prayed up. We believe. If nobody else do, we believe. And that's all that That's all that matter. Outstanding. What did you think about Darian Trammell uh, adding some drama by missing that first free throw? Oh, uh, he good. We forget <laughs> about that. He won the game for us. Darian Trammell, he represented Marin City, Bay Area, Bay Area native. That's how you represent as on the big stage. Going back, back to the summertime, did you think this team could actually reach the Final Four? Most definitely. We believe from the jump. We stacked from first player all the way down to the bench, 12 players. We all, we got five starters. Come on, we got 10 starters, I mean. Come on, man. We believe from the jump. We compete with each other each and every day, and we, we stick together to this moment. Creighton led the game like 30 of the 40 minutes, but you guys never gave up. We never, we, we vets, we vets. We, every, it's a veteran team, that's San Diego State culture, defense. We know it. anything can get better, and once again, we believe. Wait, thoughts on the Final Four? Can you win this national championship? Most definitely. We're not here for no reason. We're here to stay. We're not here for no reason. That's just that, this proving it right here. Wait, congratulations, Keisha. I appreciate, appreciate you, your time. John. Most definitely. Thank you. You know, I have really appreciated Keyshawn in the last two weeks. <laughs> he loves you. <laughs> and I remember interviewing him after his sophomore season. And this guy's an athlete. We all know he can just leap out of the gym. But he wasn't getting much playing time his first two years. And he said, and going into his junior year, I said, how do you feel? How do you, how do you manage that? He goes, hey, it's not my time yet. These other guys, these juniors and seniors above me, they deserve to be in, and now he is getting to live his time. And we don't know if he's coming back. He's got another year of eligibility when he was clipping the nets. <laughs> yep. One more year, one more year. So Keyshawn, we hope he's around another year, but we still have a full weekend to watch of him next week in it, Houston. It is his time now. I love that mm -hmm. you brought up that all the fans that came out, which was a good amount of Aztec fans, mm -hmm. were chanting Keyshawn, one more year, yeah, one no more doubt. year. And a guy that came in, right that has made an impact on this team is Darian Trammell oh, he goodness. really stole the weekend he did. 21 points against Alabama put yep. the team on his back to take down the number one team in his country in the country and then today was the hero right he gets that that foul which mm -hmm. we can talk all you want about I don't know if you call that typically it worked out well for the San Diego State Aztecs in that situation but then he went to the line and he missed the first one just wanted to add some drama and the drama <laughs> went through the roof here you guys <laughs> he sank the second one the rest was history we caught up with him after the game. Uh, here with Darion Trammell, the guy that made the last bucket in the Elite Eight game here. Uh, I got to start with that. You missed the first one at the line. What were your emotions like? What were you feeling going into shooting the second one? Uh, I mean, there was no way I was missing another one. Uh, I feel like the moment was, was given to me for a reason. And I mean, it was just God's timing uh, for me to just knock out a free throw and send my team to the Final Four. And the second one goes in. What was the wave of emotion like there and kind of the pressure off your shoulders? Uh, honestly, I still feel pressure. I feel like it's, it's March. Uh, the wildest things happen at this time. Uh, so it was all about just, just stick, stick, uh, sticking in there and just finishing the game. Because you're going to get asked this probably 100,000 times over the course of the next few days, do you think you were fouled there? <laughs> uh, I mean, it was up for the refs to call. Um, I feel like I still had a good look. Uh, if they call it or not, I mean, we were going to be ready to go in for, for an overtime. Looked like he had his hand on your hip, though. You, you felt that at least? Yeah, definitely. I think, yeah, yeah, I felt it. 
<laughs> Let's back up even a little bit more on the inbounds, right? When they when they tied it, kind of. Where was the wave of emotion out there for you? Uh, the game isn't over. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we we still had the the, the cool, calm, and just the maturity that we have, just to stay in the game and. It was a lot of time on the clock to, to win the game still. So it was all about just moving on to the next play and not dwell on it. Uh, we felt like we'd been in that moment a couple times. Uh, back in New Mexico, uh, I turned the ball over. And Lamont hit the game winner. Um, so it was all about staying in it. What do you think this means for not only the school, <laughs> not only the alum, but the city of San Diego to have their team in the Final Four? Uh, I mean, it's a blessing to be able to do this for them. Uh, they've been showing us support all year, uh, showing us love, traveling all the way. I mean, across the country for us and just continue to support us. Uh, so it feels great to give this back to them. Um, and I mean, we're going to keep doing game by game and see how far we can go. What's this mean for the Aztecs basketball program all time? Finally getting the respect, putting the name on the map like that. Uh, it's also great to do that. Uh, we feel like, um, honestly, we feel like we might even might not even get the respect we deserve still. So that's just the mindset we have, uh, just keeping that chip on our shoulder and, and not putting limit, limitations on, on where we can go. John, obviously this is all raw sound that we just mm -hmm. gathered 30 minutes ago, Throw 40 minutes ago, and, and we send it back. And so when we asked Darian, when I asked him, were you fouled? And I asked him, <laughs> did he have his hand on his hip? And he goes, uh, yeah, yeah and he kind of stops right there, right? <laughs> That's how true it was. I mean, hey, was yep. it a foul or not? We'll never know, but the Aztecs are moving on to the final four. It, the key was it was called the foul, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> John, one of the big things, the storylines going into this tournament was Brian Dutcher, right? Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people want to talk about how he had never gotten a win in the tournament. Right. And he, not only does he get one, now he's got, he got four, four in a row and he's going to a Final Four. Yeah, there was a little monkey on his shoulder. Yeah. Uh, not a gorilla, but <laughs> I, and I'll admit, I asked him about it in uh, Orlando last weekend. You know, uh, before the monkey gets too big, do you, do you want to get a win just to get rid of that? Uh, and I asked him about it again today. So here's Brian Dutcher after today's game. We're here with head coach Brian Dutcher. Brian, you're going back to the Final Four. I know it's not your first time there. How does it feel to make it with the Aztecs? It's great. It's great. These guys are deserving. I'm grateful for the coaching staff I have, the team I have, and just blessed to be on the journey with them. The difference in the game. I know that the big guy was making a difference in the first half, but how did you guys overcome it? Just gritty performance. I mean, we had a couple go in, they had a couple roll off, and that's the difference in basketball. Mm -hmm. It wasn't anything drastic. Both guys had opportunities, and they had a couple that looked like they were going in that rolled off, and we had a couple that looked like they were rolling out or going in. Now, as one of the knucklehead media types that was asking you about getting your first NCAA win before you came to this tournament, you're now 4-3 and three as a head coach in the NCAA tournament. I want to congratulate you, and how does it feel to be winning four games in a row? Oh, come on, it's incredible. I mean, this doesn't happen very often. So we're going to enjoy the moment, we're going to embrace it, but we're going to keep preparing because hopefully there are two more games to be played. When you're on the stage after the game, I saw a huge smile on your face, the likes I haven't seen before. What was that like? Just to see how much the fan base is enjoying it. Uh -huh. You know, it's a first time experience for all of us. So first time for the fan base, first time for this team, and just to be in that moment was really special. How confident are you going into the Final Four that this team can win two more games? I'm confident we can win it all or we wouldn't be playing. So we have a chance like everybody else. Four teams will have a chance to cut nets down one more time and hopefully that's us. Coach, congratulations getting this far. We look forward to watching you the rest of the way. Thanks, John. You know, it's awesome, Jake, to see Brian Dutcher go from 0-3 in yeah. NCAA play to four and three. He, he's instantly got a winning record now in NCAA play. as a head coach for San Diego State University. He's been to the national championship game before as an assistant with Steve Fisher with the University of Michigan. So he's been here before. Part of the reason they brought Steve Fisher in 20, 25 years ago. And now we're seeing the, oh, gee, the fruits of the labor as they get back to the final four. Yeah, I'm ready for him to go six and three, though. I'm ready for the no next doubt. two wins, right? Yes. Uh, just an unbelievable night here, John. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. The confetti is still on the floor behind Behind us. You can see the ladder over my shoulder from where they cut the nets down. The Aztecs are going to the final four, Marcus Greaves. We got plenty more coming up on all editions of CBSA. We'll go ahead and send it back to you, but Aztecs, final four. Let's go. Come on, man. How excited are we? Come on, John Howard, out of all people, I know that you are probably the most excited. I can only imagine. One thing I wanted to get to you guys before I let you guys go is what What's one thing that stands out about the Aztecs? It's been defense the whole time. I got my notes down right here. Listen, the, Ab the Aztecs held Creighton to 56 points today. They averaged 77. And on top of that, mm. Creighton shot 11% from three. Usually they shoot 35% from three. 